In the series of videos, we have been discussing about the cancer, proto oncogenes, and oncogenes. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the BCR ABL translocation. This is one of the important translocations between the chromosomes that generates the oncogene. From this kind of translocation, that is BCR ABL translocation, we get the chronic myeloid leukemia. It is actually when BCR ABL translocation occurs, it gives rise to oncogene, which in turn leads to CML, that is chronic myeloid leukemia. In general, if we see what this translocation is, it is the unusual rearrangement of chromosomes or the part of chromosome. And in this case of BCR ABL translocation, there is exchange of materials between non homologous chromosomes. We see we have two genes getting involved here BCR gene and ABL gene. The BCR gene is present on chromosome number 22, and ABL gene is present on chromosome number 9. And when rearrangement takes place between chromosome number 22 and chromosome number 9, there is formation of new chromosome in which BCR and ABL genes are fused together. That new chromosome which has got BCR ABL gene now on Q arm is termed as Philadelphia chromosome. Now let's see this mechanism in detail. In this diagram, we have ninth chromosome having ABL gene on Q arm as shown in the diagram. The precise position of ABL gene is 9q34.1. In the same way, if we see the 22nd chromosome, we have the BCR gene on its Q arm also, as shown in the diagram. Now getting to the translocation part. Here we see the segment from Q arm of 9th chromosome switches with the segment of Q arm from 22nd chromosome, as shown in the diagram. So in here, in this diagram, we can see BCR and ABL gene have come together in the form of new chromosome. And that new chromosome formed here is now termed as Philadelphia chromosome. And this translocation is termed as T922 translocation. In Philadelphia chromosome, the Q arm has now both genes BCR and ABL gene in close proximity. This fused gene from BCR ABL is also termed as P210 depending upon the breakpoint of genes translocated. This fused gene is now oncogene. And will induce the CML. The BCR ABL oncogene will regulate the tyrosine kinase activity of ABL. The tyrosine kinase activity of ABL gene is permanently turned on. This oncogene also activates RAS pathway, which in turn activates ERK or MAPK pathway. And also PI3K pathway is activated. All the above pathways lead to cell division without any regulation there is eventually cell transformation also that leads to CML. But we have to see how BCR ABL fused gene becomes oncogene and turns the pathways permanently on. Let's get to it. First of all, we see the diagrammatic representation of BCR gene. In its diagram, we see it's having coiled coiled oligomerization domain or simply oligomerization domain. It has also tyrosine 177 domain, serine threonine kinase domain, rho GEF domain, palextrin homology or we can say PH domain and also GAP domain and there are also many other minor domains. In the same way we have the ABL gene which is having SH3, SH2 domains, SH1 tyrosine kinase domain, some other important domains include NES domain, DNA binding and actin binding domain. We see here this SH3 domain is one of the important domains of ABL gene. Since it is the negative regulator of tyrosine kinase domain of ABL gene. So in the gene regulation, this SH3 domain of ABL gene turns off the kinase activity of ABL gene. That means it has an inhibitory action. But after the translocation, that means in BCR ABL translocation, we know we get the fused BCR ABL gene. Here in this animation, we see how BCR ABL gene fused together. When we have the translocation of segments between chromosome number 22 and chromosome number 9. So we have fused gene here, some part from BCR and some part from ABL gene. The N terminal part is from BCR gene and C terminal part is from ABL gene. And we know this SH3 is negative regulator of tyrosine kinase. But in fused gene, 
the oligomerization domain and tyrosine 177 domain of BCR interferes with the SH3 domain of ABL and renders it non-functional. Thus, SH3 domain no longer works, which means SH3 domain will not inhibit the tyrosine kinase of ABL. That eventually keeps the tyrosine kinase of ABL active without any regulation. So it's permanently turned on, which in turn phosphorylates the ROS proteins that drives the ERK or MAPK pathway in a constitutive manner. And by this way, we have now oncogene, since it turns the cellular pathways on without any regulation. So this is how we get the oncogene. But let me remind you also, not only MAPK pathway is turned on, but also JAK state pathway is turned on. The BCR ABL targets the STAT5 protein. Tyrosine phosphorylation of STAT5 activates STAT5 translocation to the nucleus and subsequent DNA binding to the STAT5 binding sites. In the same way, many other pathways are also getting activated by BCR ABL oncogene through crosstalks like PI3K pathway. Furthermore, we see the BCR ABL gene has three NLS domains, that's nuclear localization signal. But still, BCR ABL gene predominantly locates in the cytoplasm. This is because the BCR domains inhibit the NLS signal of ABL gene, thus blocks the transportation of BCR ABL into the nucleus, thereby keeping the BCR ABL gene in the cytoplasm where it activates JAG pathway, PI3K pathway and MAPK pathways. So this is how BCR ABL translocation is driven within the cell and induce the formation of oncogene and formation of Philadelphia chromosome also. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.